you don't need to sell your soul. Selling your soul for something doesn't always have to correlate with sacrificing something to Satan. In other terms, selling your soul can be seen as giving up moral values or beliefs for receiving something, which is a practice all too common nowadays. And from what you see on the internet, you would think a lot of these people don't even have moral values or a set of beliefs because it just seems like they'd give up anything in a second to achieve something. And yes, with succeeding and achieving and gaining things, there's always going to be a sacrifice. But one thing you don't ever have to sacrifice is your moral values and beliefs. Those are something that are not supposed to change and they're not supposed to bend at your own will. One of my favorite examples of this is in Berserk 1997. One of the main characters of the story, Griffith, he leads a band of mercenaries and he all cares for them a lot. He cared about them so much that he was selling himself to an older man just so he wouldn't get his comrades killed. Nearing the end of the anime though, he has a choice of sacrificing the people he loved and who loved him, his friends, his comrades, or sacrificing his dream to rule a kingdom. And he chooses to sacrifice his friends, the people who were there for him no matter what. And he trades everything to become evil and a demon. And a lot of people just think that you need to sacrifice some of your morals to be successful but you don't success will always come along if you keep on working at it. and you're probably like gage you've been at youtube for five years i even got a comment that was that said something like this been at doing youtube for so long i'm still such a small youtuber why do you even keep on going the thing is is the success that you deem successful isn't always the success you'll get a person could go on a journey to go receive bread but on that journey they may have gotten many any other things other than bread on that journey they could have gotten chunks of knowledge to grow your own bread so you won't have to rely on somebody else maybe even at the end of that journey they still got a little bit of chunk of bread it's just the way you see things if i only saw that getting a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube was the only success that i could get out of youtube then that would be the only success i'd get out of youtube but no i saw other things as successful as building an awesome community making relationships, spreading a message of positivity out to other people. That within itself is more success than ever hitting 100,000 subscribers. But still, I may even hit 100k one day. Don't sacrifice what is right just so you can get ahead. Thank you for watching.